It's one o'clock, you're in class, and you're really bored. You look around, and you see you're not the only one. Boredom at school is very common. But is it the content of the lesson? Is it the teacher? Is it the fact you're always seated, not moving, learning passively in your chair? You would like to do something, make something, but there is no opportunity. So you start to draw in your notebook. And I think this sounds very familiar for a lot of people. You draw dolls, figures, existing things and new things, and those new things can lead to new ideas, because that creativity inside you needs to be explored. You want to express yourself. I'm going to take you on a journey, a journey through a process of what we call making, creating. My story starts with Leonardo da Vinci, and where it ends, I do not know. Hopefully, it never ends. Drawing, creating, have all been done before. For example, in the 15th century, by Leonardo da Vinci. Small drawings became big ideas. Initial thoughts became big projects, and sometimes even too complex for its time. But how did he do this? Well, by thinking, drawing, processing new thoughts, reconsider his initial ideas. So in other words, by going through a process until he was really pleased. And even then, there was space for optimization. He designed the helicopter, the tank, the parachute, the glider, and many more things. He was ahead of his time because he got over time and space to develop his ideas and improve them. It took many years before his ideas became reality. Nowadays, there seems to be less time than before. Companies want to make profit. People are busy. Learning by making is a kind of learning that has increasingly been pushed into the background over the years. But is there still time and space for a new Leonardo da Vinci? Yes, there is. I propose to introduce the 20% rule. The 20% rule says spend 20% of the time making the things you want. Google already introduced such a rule. If you worked five days, you were allowed to work one day on your own project. And this often resulted in the most profitable ideas like Gmail and Google Glasses, as well as Google Talk. At my school, we have something what we call the Fab Class. During the Fab Class, a group of students and a couple of teachers come together once every three weeks. The students get the opportunity to work on their own project, to make their ideas. The school facilitates this by providing materials, equipment, and physical space. But why is the Fab Class such a success? In the Fab Class, Maker education is put into practice. But what is maker education? The word already explains itself. Being educated by making, creating. Developing your skills in identifying problems, tackling and solving them, knowing how to use equipment, and brainstorming with other people about your project will all optimize the things you do. A famous Dutch designer said during a television interview, making makes you. And I think that's true. Now I will tell you what I've made and experienced during the Fab Plus. Because for me, it seems interesting to start with a large project, larger both in form and in duration. I wanted to combine new shapes, work with new and no materials and technology, so I made some first sketches. I love animals, so for my design I was looking for a fast animal with a recognizable form. I decided to choose the shark with its dorsal fin. After these first sketches, I made a prototype, first out of cardboard and later one out of wood. And of course there were some problems which first had to be solved, but after this step in the process, I made a real-sized cardboard version. And when this design proved to be a success, I started on my wooden bike. 
And as I just said, and as, and as you can imagine, I did not always succeed immediately. I ran into problems like how to get the axle of the rear working on the room frame. But those problem, problems, they taught me something, because they forced me to re-evaluate the process and the design, steps which I normally would not have taken. It took many hours of work and even as many learning moments. But after a year, my wooden bike was a fact. It was amazing. And this is the result. And I must say, it looks a lot like Leonardo's bike. Another project that I developed during the Fab class is a cup for small children. Small children want to act the same way as adults do. For example, use a big cup, even if their hands are too small. And if they would succeed, it would give them a lot of confidence. So I came up with this, with this idea, with this cup. It looks big, but it suits small hands. In the Fab Plus, Fab Plus. Uh. In the Fab Plus, I worked on my projects, and those projects they gave me problems, and those problems they stayed in my head. Solving those problems was something I did not do when I was at the Fab Plus. I thought about them when I was outside school, when I, for example, laid in my bed or when I was cycling. So it are not only those few hours in a week. No, it's a mindset. And I have many more ideas and thoughts I want to put into practice. And I hope that when I get my degree in June, I will get the opportunity to develop, create and learn at the Faculty Industrial Design at the TU Delft. Because when I see what they've developed, for example the NUNA, already six out of eight times the NUNA participated on the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, they took home the trophy. And each year, the team responsible for the NUNA improves the car by looking at previous designs, being critical of themselves, and keep an open mind at the world around them. First, the boredom in school. Leonardo da Vinci. The Fab Class. Maker Education. My own designs. The NUNA of the TU Delft. Various topics and one common thread, the process. With the 20% rule in every school, students will be more focused in class because they can explore their creativity when they work on their own project. And even outside school, they will think about it because those problems, they stay in their head and they want to solve them. So for everybody, be critical to your designs. Be prepared to start over. Be open to suggestions from others, create, and most importantly, never give up. So, let's make the world a better place. Thank you.